why not subscribe to see more Spanos Antics. Hey, welcome to Spanos Antics. So today is New Van Day. Let's get it in and have a look. Facing at a photo they've taken Space street flying through the skies And battles happen everywhere Hey, welcome to Spiral Tantex This is the Western This van has got absolutely bags of history And bags of character uh, I've known the van for a long time uh, It's cropped up about 10 years ago uh, one road down from where I live, used to live, that's how I sort of seen it. Uh, a couple have bought it, and for the last god knows how many years, it's just been tucked up, tucked away, away from the world. Uh, it came in to us for some trim work, and he mentioned he wanted to sell it. The rest is history, and now uh, we've got it. So the history on the van is uh, it was owned by Western uh, Volkswagen in Nevada, and they used it as an advertising sign down from their dealership with a big arrow on the side just pointing you to the way. Sat there for a long time getting baked and giving it the amazing patina you see now. Uh, it then came to the country, uh, yeah, and then yes, it's been just hiding just down the road from me. Well, I walked there to go and pick it up. It's like that local. I forgot it ever existed to be honest. Uh, till yeah, it popped in for a bit of trim work and, and then yeah, here it is. Uh, it's a really cool van, uh, I say bagged it's also one of the earliest vans in the country I think. She's uh, a 67, it's obviously registers a 68 because they never ba made bays in 67 technically, but actually actually made in November 67 alongside the Splitties as they were finishing off van. Uh, so yeah, very cool van, very unique van, I don't think you'll ever find another one like it. Uh, it will be for sale unfortunately, I can't keep it. Uh, I've got two another project on the go and we've got one big thing coming up soon which is why the truck got sold, Caddy got sold, everything got sold to raise funds for that which will be coming up soon. Uh, so yeah, let's go and have a little nose round, shall we? Right, let's have a look round. So here she is. Mostly all original paint, she's been sunburned and love kissed and you know, cleaned and polished over the years. Uh, she's super early, all the original stuff on it. The sign right in. It was all hand lovingly put back on. It was on there, which was quite faded uh, by a friend of mine. Uh, down to the, you know, the arm burn on the paint, where right? someone's just hung their arm out for the last 40 years. So a really cool little van. All the original seals under there is absolutely rock, no rust. All the original pressings are still in the in the bodywork. Well down. You can see faintly here the outline with the original blue arrow that was on the sign pointing to the dealership. I think it might be worth uh, very sympathetically putting that back on there. I think it would look quite cool at some point. Right, let's have a look around the back. It's got a rear safari window in, which you can put afterwards. So full again, some details. Engine, needs a bit of a clean up, but it's a uh, Twin carbs, 1600. Runs and drives real nice with a uh, stainless steel uh, little exhaust. I think it's a, which one is it? Yeah, it's the, I'm gonna make it now. Cool little exhaust. It's got adjustable spring plates on the back, adjustable beam on the front, so you can adjust, set suspension where you want it. Uh, yeah, it's never had any welding in all these panels and stuff. Wicked, such a cool thing. The right survivor. Well, I'll look around there, look inside. Again, the same sign range, a little bit more worn on this side, which I think looks a bit better. That's cool. And at some point in its life, someone drops a load of red prime runner or something, and it's, someone, it's just been left on there ever since. Crazy. Right, let's look in. 
Inside it's just had a little basic camper conversion. Rock and roll bed, wooden panelling. Uh, I think it was done by a local company many years ago. The paperwork that comes with it is absolutely stacks. But what is some good pictures, a little close up on that. That's one of the early pictures of when it was found in Navarra, where it sat in the Navarra Desert. And there's absolutely bags and bags of history on it here. Which will all go with the new owner. You can see the faint arrow a little bit better on that one, the blue arrow. Uh, obviously worn a little bit time. Yeah, so there she is. Quick look through the window at the front. Twin seat, single seat, like they would have had in the commercial days. That's a cool little bus. Come and get it. The Western. Cut.